Ya palingana. Welcome all. I am a Parabina Truwalwe woman who is a direct descendant of our ancestral grandfather Manalagena and whose ancestors and family lineage comes from the northeastern Tasmanian nation as well as the Oyster Bay clan. Today, reflecting upon all the pe people present here to discuss the health of our beautiful river, um, I am speaking about relationships and connection. As I was thinking about what I would say, I read a quote from a book, a children's book written by Archie Roach and illustrated by his wife, Ruby Hunter, called Took the Children Away. Archie said, people like me, we think in circles. We make a journey in life and life being a circle. We follow that circle. If that circle gets broken, people don't know what to do. They become confused. But there's a good way we can join that circle up again. And that's by reaching out, joining hands, the circles healed, linked up, all the people together again. So linking us up today and welcoming you into this space means that I need to locate us in a part of Trawana, Tasmania, upon land that traditionally made up one of the nine nations and many clan groups that live within country for 2,000 generations. In doing so, I ask that you extend your imaginations beyond the walls of this meeting space. Here we stand upon the land of the Lita Mariner, who were one of the three clans that made up the Stony Creek Nation. This nation was extensive and ran from lands to the east and west of Karnamaluka, the Tamar River, and following natural boundaries and tributaries down to the Midlands around Campbelltown. As a Tasmanian Aboriginal person, I stand here as a custodian of this country because there are no known descendants of the Paranina, Lita Mariner, or Taiera Notapana peoples today. Regardless, that deep history, archaeology, and connection are still present for those with the eyes to see. Throughout each millennia, at least 40,000 years, cultural practices were interwoven with lives marked by seasons. Our physical and spiritual worlds intimately connected to each other as people, country, sea, sky and ancestors. What was then is now. The current day continuation of making string, shell necklaces, art, baskets, Oka ceremonies, water carriers, tools, clapping sticks, dance. Reinterpreting, reclaiming, relearning our cultural practices and our history. Giving voice to those silenced before us. Here, Tasmanian Aboriginal people descend from at least 12 ancestral grandmothers. And in that legacy, I recognise that I do not come from silent women. Using language words unique to each part of country, Aboriginal people exchange story and elders share knowledge down to the younger ones as the circle continues girls to women to elders and boys to men to elders. Children were birthed in Trawana and precious ochre was gathered or traded, signifying celebration and integral to the rights that honour those who have died. These rights, cultural practices and celebrations continue today. What was then is now. Within this welcome, I honour the wisdom and knowledge of elders past and present as custodians of living Aboriginal culture and knowledges. I respectfully acknowledge Tasmanian Aboriginal communities and Aboriginal people in this gathering space and extend a warm welcome to everyone present at this forum. Mini Yapalingana Nina Melatina Tiakana Warina my welcome to you into the heart of this country. Thank you.